There we go. We got the kill. And that is a number one example on why the kit's launcher is just so stupidly OP. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Skeptic, and today I'm going to be taking on the Pyramid Building Only Challenge. As you guys know, building is very important in Fortnite, so today's challenge, I'm only going to be able to use pyramids, no walls, no stairs, no floors. Just to make sure I don't mess up, I'm going to be disabling all the other binds. So to feel it out a little bit, I'm going to be on in Pleasant Park, my favorite spot. The one thing that I was thinking about that we probably need to utilize and basically use the entire game is pre-edits. So in Fortnite, you can pre-build. So when you take the pyramid and you take out the edit, you could actually make it into a couple different combinations. Pre-edits like this, how I uh, can literally just make it into other kind of stuff. And I was even thinking like edits like this would be pretty good as well. You know, just the dodge shots, like instead of like a wall. Getting around is going to be a little bit different because I can't build directly up. And you see, I already just tried building a stair. I literally, it's so hard to build all of these things. This is gonna take a little bit to get used to. When you're only using pyramids, you can't really build yourself, you know, a big barrier, a big shield around you. So I gotta make sure I'm set on shield for this because I don't want to get too hurt. There we go, we got him. Just cracked him. There we go. We got the kill. Let's go, guys. Since I'm not able to build these structures or even place launch pads at all, my strategy is to get the grappler. It's an infinite charge weapon, and it'll be really good for my movement. Straight to authority, because I feel like getting, like, the grappler or any, like, the mythic, like, rotational items would be good. Ooh, there is somebody nearby. Oh my god, we got him. If you guys were watching that, I literally tried building a wall so many times that it was like literally scuffing me. It's gonna take me a little bit to adjust to this setting because I've walked around and I've tried placing walls, stairs, and floors a lot. Let's break out of here and maybe try to look for a grappler guy. There he is. I'm not really sure what he was trying to do, but there we go. That was sort of a free kill. He must have, he looked like he lagged out or something. So I finally got the grappler. It took me a long time to get this thing, and a lot of people have gone in the match. So now it's time to play super offensive. Have more mobility, so we can literally just, like, grapple on anybody. If we, like, start getting, like, dominated in a fight, we can literally just grapple our way. It'll help us so much. Since I can't 90 my way up, the grappler will help me get around a lot faster. There we go. That is another kill. And this guy was actually super stacked with the kit's loot. I got the grappler, and I wasn't even looking for it, but I got the kit's shockwave launcher. The most OP thing in the game probably right now. So basically what it is, is it use rockets, and it shockwaves you all around the map. It's really OP. We also have a bunch... We have a pad, actually, that we can't use because we can't place floors. You know, uh, that's a... Kind of, that's kind of tough. Pain, guys, pain. Not being able to place floors to place down launch pads really sucks. There we go. We got the kill. So, quick tip. You don't actually need to place your own floor to place a launch pad. So, I basically went up to this floor and was placing it without breaking the challenge. Is we could place the pad on there. So, not bad, not bad. Oh, and that guy got cracked. There we go, that's the kill that we needed, let's go guys. Build fights are kind of the same, except I gotta go for the kill way earlier than I normally would in a build fight. This guy's not the worst, so we need to get out of this fight. So normally I would box up and take some heals, but since I'm not able to do that, I literally have to disengage from the fight to, you know, pop some heals. This is getting way too close now, because the guy's at the end of this. There we go, we got the kill. Fighting is a lot harder when you're not able to build walls and, you know, fully box yourself. There we go. We got the kill. And that is a number one example on why the kit's launcher is just so stupidly OP. So this doesn't actually do damage, but it'll let you get in people's boxes and get the surprise attack. I literally just teleported behind him, basically, and one-pumped him, so, you know... Okay, so we gotta make sure we're three blocks away. And now we're in his box. Oh my god. That was so close. A fun fact, if you're three boxes away from the opponent's box you're trying to get in and use the kit's shockwave launcher, you'll get in their box. So this is what I was trying to go for. And I'm gonna build up on this just so we have the high ground off the start of the fight. It's so hard just building using these. 
got one of them. There we go. Let's go, guys. See how many kills we had. We had 13 kills and a win. We started off slow and then we started to snowball up. And uh, let's go, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Whistle's channel and check me out on Twitch. Peace out.